becoming the vibration of what you wish to be with you. No, it's going to be sometime in the future. I know it's talking about future, but still. Oh, what's becoming versus being? Proceed. Somehow the timing is not there yet. But I'm that, by the way, is an assumption. It may be based on whatever evidence you gather, but the timing is always right now should you decide. So, understanding this, by all means, you can continue to put out in front of you to become something. But what I am sharing, and part of the point of this interaction, is to understand that you are deciding that, and that you are building that particular, shall I say, condition into your decision. Do proceed. Um, can you say more about how to be that vibration? Deciding is being that vibration. There are different ways to word the idea of decision. One of them is simply that you always, in any given moment, based on whatever criteria you use, every right now, commit to who you are. You make a commitment, I am this person. That is being that vibration 100% and completely in that moment, in that right now moment. When you decide, I am, and fill in that blank, you are that vibration right then and there. Often, individuals will build into their decision, as you have said, the idea of becoming, and then you are the vibration of becoming versus the vibration of being, or the vibration of creating yourself towards being that person on a gradient. The question you ask, is an excellent question, because it allows us, in no uncertain terms, to define that making the decision is being that person, and therefore expressing that vibration right now, in this moment. What you do from this point forward, and again, we're playing with language, it is always right now, but for the purposes of simply illustrating on a line, in the successive now, the decision that you quote-unquote then make will either support the idea that you are already that vibration, or it will support the idea that you are one step closer toward being that vibration, or you can even create it to simply seem to cancel and stamp out that vibration altogether. This is why we say that you create essentially in three steps. One, decision. Two, trusting the decision. And another way to word that is maintenance, maintaining the commitment to that decision. If you understand that when you decide you are that vibration, you are that person, because you have established yourself as that vibration, Trusting that decision is simply a matter of occasionally, when and where appropriate and necessary, reminding yourself of that decision in its full potency, in its full committed form. Does that make sense? Yes. So if I use some specific examples, like either moving in a particular house or getting a job or doing something in your life that you uh, want to do, and you're not there yet, other circumstances are not... Uh, have not fallen in place yet. So, and you already are of that vibration. Then the things start moving faster because you are already of that vibration. Absolutely. And you, with very wide eyes, are on the lookout, so to speak, for the opportunities that are available, that are present, that would seem to physically create the conducive circumstance that would then produce the physical result. Everything begins first, again, in consciousness. When there is the idea of physical events to play out, it always begins with a commitment in consciousness. Then your reality, so to speak, positions itself in such a way whereby your circumstances are either a straight line, one thing at a time, that expresses your decision of being that person to whatever degree is available in that given moment. 
Does that make sense? Yes. So therefore, when you make the decision, I am feeling the understanding within myself that it is time to physically relocate. That starts as a decision, as a concept. That creates a vibration that attracts circumstance into right now that allow for the conducive seeming transition, again, toward the idea of the physical move. But it begins with the foundational establishment of the vibration of that person. When it comes to everyday things, like making decisions uh, that are going to affect, uh, either saying they are moving, you, you already act, I mean not you, but I would already act as if I'm in that place. It well, so to speak, yes. You would do what you would do if you completely accept yourself as that being which takes into consideration now that I am this being, I am this being in these circumstances. So from what is available in these circumstances, this being that I now am would do this. And you are being, acting, being that person. Which then again creates again the seemingly shortest path, so to speak, physically, in the direction that you say you seek. Again, we are bumping up against what you call limitations of language. But is this clear? How about limitations of our reality at this point? That is a conception and part of the decision-making process. There are no limitations toward being who you are other than the ones that you build into your decision. In other words, individuals will sometimes say, well, Allah which is not my name, we have no names, but it will do as a designation. Where you are, what you are saying is easy, but down here, <laughs> it is not so practical. To which I will reply, well, that is the difference in the decisions we are making. Were I down there, I would not choose to see it that way, and therefore I would still get the same results I get in my society upon your planet. And I know this to be so, for I have again lived a past life on your planet where I have seen in absolute application that this works. So, uh, if you are familiar with my situation, can you give me any advice for me, specifically for me? Loosen up on the specifics and simply understand that what you desire is to create a more conducive atmosphere to express yourself without needing it to rigidly be any particular place. If you insist that it be a particular place, it can actually take longer. If you loosen up and allow you to deliver to yourself, perhaps through an unexpected avenue, simply something that will fulfill the atmosphere that you are choosing to create to support the new decision of who you are, you will find that loosening up will open up new opportunities and new ideas that were not available to you heretofore. So I am specifically and purposely being general. So I decide to be surprised. Oh, what? <laughs> but the idea is to maintain your resolve in deciding that I am a person who creates the conducive atmosphere to fully express myself. And that takes care of it all. What you call your house and your car. 